Hey everyone, today on the corner, it's going to be an excellent day. Yay! Welcome back everyone. Today we're going to make this really awesome Wild Stallions plaque in three colors. Because Bill and Ted are back. Excellent. So, yeah, I um, went into um, Tinkercad and I um, grabbed a couple models off of Thingiverse and I combined them to make this little fun little plaque. Uh, you see, you got Bill and Ted on top there, you got the phone booth, you got the Wild Stallion's name, and you're printing it in one, two, three different colors. Now, the Tronxy with Marlin in it is a really great machine to print in multiple colors. And I'll show you how I did this right Fine. now. So, here I am in Tinkercad, and this is the Wild Stallion's logo that I showed you in the intro. And it is a remix of this model here by Homer and this cool license plate by Beckerthorne. So I'll show you what I did with it. Basically, in a nutshell, I um, let me ungroup this and you can kind of see what I did here. So I basically used the Bill and Ted silhouettes here at the top. I used a simple cylinder shape that I stretched out for the the plaque and I used the Wild Stallions font from the license plate. I simply just cut it out and then I just placed it behind here like that. See that? That's all I did. But the important thing for the multicolor is, if I hit you up at the side here, you'll see that this is going to print in red. Here, let me uh, make this a little easier here. This will, uh, that's kind of how I want it to turn out. So this here is, um, is it 3.5? I think it's 3.5, yeah. So this is 3.5 mils here, this red um, plaque. Then Bill and Ted over here are 5 mils. So you're going to print the whole backing here, and then you're going to change filaments just after 3.5 mils. And then you're going to change it again just after five mils to the gold. All right, do you see how that works? So we're going to change it slightly after three and a half mils to encompass the red. And then we're going to change it again just after the five mils to gold. So we're going to, I already have it loaded into my slicer. I like Prusa slicer. Um, it works for me. I'm getting comfortable with it. So, but here is my plaque. And as you see, it's one layer here, two layers, and three layers. So I'm going to go ahead and slice this just like this so you can kind of see. Oh, hang on. Let's see here. There you go. Oh, no. As I'm getting used to it, eh? Right? There we go. All right. So we're going to slice this. <coughs> now this is the cool thing about Prusa Slicer, is you can manually put in um, level changes on the G-code and it works really, really well. So you see here, so we knew it was 3.5 and then we'd have to start the next layer. You, to me, and this is me, I like to kind of make sure um, one layer or so into the new level. So I'm going to add a, a filament change there. All right, and then I'm going to make sure I get Bill and Ted over here. 
right there and I'll add another filament change now did you see how I did that I'll zoom in a little bit so remember how I said it was 3.5 and you wanted to do it slightly over there so that's 3.5 right, as you go up you see how it's starting to print the logo and the Bill and Ted so that's kind of where I want my filament change to go so that's going to be where you see the orange in this here I can change that actually let's change that to black and then up to the gold here so I just finished printing Bill and Ted I'm on their last layer and then I print up the gold right so what you do now is you can see how my logo is like that and what you're going to do you'll see it says slice now so you're going to have to slice it again and when you slice it again this time you'll see um, see color one the base color here this would be the one is going to take two hours and 46 minutes and then color two is going to take 30 minutes and that's this color here and then color three is going to take 25 minutes that's the wild stallions part it's going to take a total time of three minute, three hours and 42 minutes. So I'm going to export this G code. And then I'm going to go downstairs and reprint this plaque and try and catch the filament changes so I can show you just how easy that is on the Tronc CXY2. Okay. All right. Okay, so now we're at the first change of filament. So if you can see by the screen, it says filament change, press button to heat nozzle. So I actually didn't get here on time. Um, so what happens when it ends the color, it will back to the far corner and it will push the filament forward a little bit and then pull it back. I can actually see the red pulled back about here. So it pulls back about two inches into the Bowden tube. So you can just completely pull out your filament, just like that. And then we're just gonna swap it out with your new filament. So my next color is gonna be black. And I am going to load my filament into my hot end, just like that. And it says press to heat button to heat nozzle. We're going to press the button to heat nozzle. And it's going to heat up slowly. And then it's going to tell me insert filament and press button to continue. So I've already inserted my filament. So the press button is just going to touch the screen. So the nozzle's heated. It says nozzle heating and that's filament change. Wait for filament purge. And what you will see is you see how the filament's coming out right there. So it's going to purge and you're going to end up seeing. So it's going to ask you to purge more continue. So you're going to look at the color of your filament, right? There's my purge right there. So I have black coming out, so I'm good. If I didn't have the color that I wanted, like if it was still mixed, I would hit purge more, but I'm going to hit continue right now. And it's going to come down. You're going to want to make sure that you have no filament left on your nozzle. 
and it's going to start printing in the other color. So that's how you do a color change. Here, I'll let this print for a second and then I'll kind of show you what it looks like. Here. See, so we're starting to print the black. You see how I have a loose strand? I'll have to pick that off at some point in time. But overall, it's doing a fantastic job. So yeah, so that's a filament change. So we're going to do this, and then we have one more filament change to go. And that's going to be the gold, okay? So yeah, that's it. Showed you how to make this cool little plaque here. Showed you how to do different color changes at different levels with Crucial Slicer, how to input that, that into the G-code. And it is Bill and Ted, right? So you can't go wrong. Right? So just remember, if you like this video, hit the subscribe button, leave a comment. Um, and to quote Bill and Ted, be excellent to each other. All right? Peace out. Excellent. I'm going to have so much fun with this video. It's going to be awesome. All right, stay tuned.